Hello everyone and welcome back to Warno. This time with a 10v10 on loop at night. Sure to be an exciting game. This will be the deck that I'm going for. I'm not that particularly experienced in Warno nor 10v10s. Um, but I feel like this is a good deck there. We've got a good bunch of infantry. Uh, Faggot, Schutzen, Flame, Panzer Jagger, Conkers. We've got also a uh, field depot with four helicopters. And I feel like helicopters, well, they're not that great, but they are pretty good. And I mean, if you got to make a choice between trucks and helicopters and you're going to play in 10v10, I feel like the helicopters is the better choice here. Anyway, I have six leaders as well in the uh, logistic tab. I'm going with no leaders in the infantry tab. I've got four artillery, and why is I don't use artillery that much in 10v10, although it's always nice to have some, but usually the, this this tab can be even empty for me, and it wouldn't matter that much. In the tank department, we do have some leaders, only two of them with the T-55. We've got some pack 100 mil, and these are really cool. I like them. You get, you know, six for 100 points each. It's not so bad. Um, they don't they're not the greatest, but they're good to hide and ambush. Anyway, we've got some T-55 all across the map as well. And then we've got some of Clara. We've got a few AA, including two tabs of the 2K12 KUB. We've got a whole lot of helicopters. I should probably change that, but it is what it is. And I also got four AT planes. All right, let's get into the battle right now. All right, and so um, just to say the map was actually Rift and not Loop, as I said it was. Uh, so sorry about that. The team will be composed of Walmart Crackhead playing the 11th Armored Cavalry Regiment, Gary Owen with the 3rd Armored, Raccoon with the 2nd Panzer Grenadier Division, Wolf with the 3rd, Trifty Raccoon this time <laughs> with the 82nd Airborne, Jeremy Wade with the Berlin Command, RTS Dam with 5th Panzer Division, M. Wren with the 8th Infantry Division Mechanized, Rommel's Valet with Berlin Command, and we've got Kashia with 3rd Armored Division. On my camp, we're going to get War Daddy with 27 Ya ja Guard Motostrelki Division, RBTP with Bezirk Erfurt. Myself with four motorized, motorized shooting division, Harrow QIU with seven Panzer division, Hoja with the six Ya OG Motostrelki, T3K with 79, two straight homies doing the gay with seven Panzer division. And let's we're, we're gonna take a special attention to this player in the game, TS Teaspoon of LSD, nice, uh, with KDA Bezirk Erfurt. Uh, Intense solid 75 with 79, 27 guard and 6 of 6 with 6 Ya OG Motostrelki Brigade. LSD used to be one of my favorite drugs when I was a kid. Um, well, a kid, I mean, I was an adult, but you know, at 18, you <laughs> are pretty much a kid. Uh, but yeah, hallucinogenic drugs were my favorite. Anyway, doesn't matter. Um, okay, so I'm going to go for. Um, these area here with the intent of taking this flag. I'm a major noob, but I do play more and more often now in 10v10s. Uh, but I am a major noob. Uh, over here, we've got two straight homies doing the gay, who actually is alone for these two flags. So this will cause some issues, and I will tell you during the game. Over here, we're all going here, and then we've got also a bunch of people going for this flag let's start the game right away and there you go all right so i'm starting with the of clara i'm starting i usually start with at and aa and so these are mine Oh, uh, look how beautiful it is. Oh, you see the artillery over there. I love, love, love playing the night map. They are just so awesome. I mean, because it's, it's beautiful to look at, especially. Ooh. 
rockets going on in the distance. Is that an helicopter we can... Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. So, already a lot of fires over there. Everywhere else seems to be doing okay. These guys look like they're going to stop there. I believe these are my troops too. I'm not sure. No, these are not mines. Enemy over here. With the Apache already doing some victims there. And we've got trucks running in the distance. Machine gun, airplane already started to do some strikes. But there, there you go. Let's show some of the battle here. Boom. We're going to remove this. So I am here. I'm also going here, but I'm dying from that M1A1. Oh, can't see it anymore. And uh, then I've got my 100 mil. And I decided to unload here before they die. I got these guys positioned over here. Uh, I got this one over here. I want to make s somewhat of a V formation of that. And I got all of my anti-air over here to protect the attack the enemy rt has done we'll start going with the leopard 105 oh nice look at that how beautiful that is taking on the helicopters already these oh my lord these guys are being targeted by airplanes i think or actually the helicopters are shooting at them and there you go this guy gets the bigger role in this engagement these guys my guys are still over here I'm getting some reinforcement of airplanes coming for that M1A1. Both of my AT died, unfortunately. I don't think I succeeded in killing this one. And I'm being met with PVADs. Yeah, the tank did survive. But here's my pilot. I bought another one. And it's important to notice that all four of my airplanes will survive the entire game. And they will come out a lot, too. So I think uh, this is pretty cool. Over here we have Gary Owen with the Apache. I don't like these helicopters. I don't find them particularly... Oh, wait, the Apache. Sorry. Yeah, these guys are extremely good. Uh, but there you go. This one will die in the water. Uh, it's the other one I don't like. Um, the slimmer one. Anywho, um, over here we have a massive, you know, armored force going ahead. We've got some Bradleys coming in on us as well there's a lot of armor coming to us and basically we're just busy dying <laughs> but there comes the conquerors trying to shoot at these guys we've got my airplanes also doing a little bit of damage i'm going to retreat the kub because now they are being uh, very close to the danger Saperi command will have to retreat, unfortunately. I'm having my MiG-23 again, trying to get the PVAD, and it does work, and I'm going to retreat. And so this is the trick here to keep your planes alive, at least in my opinion. I'm not sure who does that, if not maybe everyone, but I just get one shot out, and then I retreat automatically. I don't keep these guys up in the air. I just come in and hurriedly get out. Got a T-55 that's going to be coming in to support the attack over here. At this point now, um, two straight homies is heavily complaining. And I mean, I don't blame him because he is playing against two people so far. And he's got all of this to himself while, you know, our friends over here on the left are basically the entire team is here. <laughs> and um, the rest is spread out over here. We are two on Echo as well. So this guy is being extremely rude. Uh, he's actually telling us that our family should die from cancer as, as well as us. You know how these things are with uh, war games. games. Um, but I am telling him to relax. You know, oh, Apache gets shot by the 2K12 here. This guy is not going to survive a whole lot. One more shot from the Igla. Most likely will die. This guy already out of ammo. There you go. Higla gets the shot. 
and kills the Apache. This was a very noob move. Currently, plus three for the enemy. I'm I'm trying my best here, but I'm I'm not that great, so I'm struggling. Anyway, the T55 is coming in. We are getting shot by artillery. Um, enemy artillery. He's doing its best, I guess, to counter battery. I don't have a lot of troops, but I do have my four, my air wing, basically, already out, and they will be pretty useful. Nice mortar shot over here. Oh boy! Look at this! My God! And they're just dying. They they serve no purpose what is this guy doing raccoon just got a bunch of recon man look at all of these dudes that oh and this one's going down too oh boy this is hard to see <laughs> the recons are going away now oh man There's bombs going everywhere on this side. Even the tanks are moving out of there. Nice looking tanks. Uh, but not going to survive long with teammates like this. Anyway, these guys are doing a good job. This guy is doing fine as well. Over here, we still don't have the flags. And two straight homies doing the gay also doesn't have the flags. Because he's a noob. <laughs> he's he's busy complaining more than any other thing at that point he might have left already um he will be leaving soon eventually i will bring troops to help him out and that's the moment he he's about to leave anyway got my recon already coming down for the 2k12 plus this one is heavily damaged i've moved some of them one two Three. I got one that died, I guess. I think I had four of them. F11. Not doing much. There's. Look at all this AA. Eventually he does go down. I mean, there is no choice here. The Conkers are going to start shooting at this M1A1. M1A1 has a lot of armor. They should be able to survive that, no problems. In fact, this Conker is going to be retreating out of here. One, two, three, four. There's like four people here, and um, I guess there's a lot of the enemy. Kashir, Raccoon, Mr. Ren, Gary Owen. There's a lot of the enemy concentrated on this part as well. And I, I, I'm betting that they asked for help, and they did receive them. Walmart Crackhead is moving... It's infantry. He's basically walking over to our territory. That's how much little defense we're ha we have right now. And I'm still struggling to try to attack this. I did warn my teammates that I was a massive noob and that I do my best. You know, that's pretty much all I can say. War Daddy, Hero, Q4, um, myself, we're all fighting for this area right now. Two straight is... Doing the best you can, I, I guess, in this situation. But what strikes me a lot is um, in 10v10, there's a lot of people joining and leaving. And, and, and basically, the second it doesn't go their way, they're, they're out of there. And I think it's weird that there's people who would join war games. And cannot accept that there's a little bit of a challenge, even if unfair, because, you know, war is unfair. And I know this is a video game, and that's valid. That's a very valid reason. If you don't want to play an unfair matchup in a video game, I mean, that's up to you, okay? I'm just, you know, you have your conviction, I have mine. And, and there's no real right or wrong here. I'm just speaking of minds, but I find it odd that people would want to play war games, but never for when it's tough going. 
Uh, if it's unfair, they'll leave. If there's no chance of winning, they'll leave and, and abandon the entire team, basically, doing so. To me, it's just weird. But anyway, so we are being pushed by the enemy here. I'm having my AT um, airplanes try to do some good here. We're being targeted by missiles and whatnot. I've got the Afklara coming over here to help support these uh, these tanks, basically. Uh, T-34s are now in the back line, but that's what they should be used to. How beautiful is this game? Oh, there you go. The T-34s are not going to last long unsupported like that. And there you go. Something kills them here. Men uh, 1, uh, uh, A1, A1, Abrams Recon, I do believe this is. Yes, this is the Recon. I remember struggling against him. Him, the faggot, will start shooting at it, uh, but dies. So, in the end, this guy is doing very careless maneuvers but he is a recon tank so in the end you know he's doing pretty well there more and more are dying more t-34s are being called in to attack this guy i have my t-55 on the attack order does it look like he's going to stop to attack unfortunately i'm and there you go brought the uh at planes but he saw that he's going to put some smoke over here we're doing pretty good we started to Capture places. I got my own faggot with the Sikirungs and some of Clara over here right in the middle Nice looking chap and um, These leopards for some reason this guy is not too keen on attacking We don't have that much stuff, but you know, I guess he's afraid a little bit of these 100 mil They're not doing a whole lot of damage over here on the right side <laughs> There's a lot like straight and war daddy are calling in some shots here the t-34s are obviously dying uh, but they offer some kind of resistance i guess they're like hey you know what we're here there's people here you should be careful bunch of tanks over here are dying out got still my 100 mil shooting at these leopards but in the end we'll have to retreat a little bit and now we're starting to lose bad kilo and the straight two straight homies doing the gay his is really really going hard on our family families and um i pray for my family now since homies put them in a very bad luck um but honestly i couldn't help myself I ju that's i just told him really i just told him like you're a dude i say think about that for a second you're a dude that bought a war game that plays war games but get scared when it's time to put the effort you know that's basically how i see it all right these helicopters looks like they were mine after all in the end um or maybe not but anyway i started calling some aa helicopters to help support the 2k12 just in case you know i'm really keen on anti-aircraft in this game because i mean honestly they kind of suck it's hard to to shoot down a plane in this game and it's fine because there's um there's jet planes, you know, and, and they do have defensive um, mechanism. Anyway, S-E-A-D. We'll start looking for victims, but they only meet the SEAD. I mean, sorry, the, P the PIVAD. So overall, not a, not a lot of stuff here. Um, there we go. I'm finally starting to arrive. Straight homies is about just about leaving. Um, honestly, I mean, he was in a really tough spot. Uh, maybe he should have retreated these guys um, and consolidate his position. Maybe he should have brought these dudes a little bit over here to, to see what's going on. There's a lot of things he could have done, but also there's a lot of things he couldn't do. Now, it looks like... Yeah, he doesn't have a lot of troops deployed either. It looks like these are actually other players uh, bringing the T-34. 
wherever they can, basically. I'm having my aircraft, my helicopters doing, uh, trying, you know, anyway, got the AT planes as well. We'll remove them. F-16 Napalm is doing a lot of damage over here. We are now dead. F-15, but I do have the AA helicopters. I am not killing it, unfortunately. AA from War Daddy coming in against the F-16. There you go, Jeremy and two straight for my homies decided to surrender. Jeremy being in the blue side. <coughs> we were almost close to defeat, so I mean, it is fine. Now, Walmart Crackhead is bringing the AH-1F Cobra. These are the ones I don't like, by the way. We were talking about that earlier. I'm going to bring my helicopters. There's also enemy airplanes going at them. The PVAD started to shoot my own helicopters now. So we're in a bit of a problem there. But in the end, I think I end up killing them. And now I'm going to retreat. These T-72s are coming in to help with the um, anti-aircraft gun. This is a disheartened troop from a guard regiment. Kind of weird, in my opinion. But whatever. Um, we've completely control now. We've got our own lines. And I was really surprised. But unfortunately, we lose uh, the command. But I was really surprised that we actually made it out over here. I guess maybe uh, these guys are noobs as well. There you go. The commander just died from my faggot. And now we'll be able to bring our own commanders there. Uh, War Daddy doesn't see that because he's busy fighting here. And, and here, I believe... But there you go. Now I'm bringing more troops, anti-aircraft mainly, <laughs> because I hate aircrafts in these games. The enemy is bringing some Blackhawk into the t the city. Already getting shot down though. There you go. One going down. Blackhawk down. Blackhawk down. Another Blackhawk down. And he's going to explode in the air and then back down. <laughs> oh, man. I really, really dislike how this game's helicopters... Like, they look so awkward every time you look at them. I got my commander here. Uh, these are the defenses I brought uh, against the enemy. I'm bringing, um, yeah, uh, too straight for my homies was saying that um, that the the enemy had recons uh, because my FOB died now. Where were these recons, by the way? They didn't have any more. They died, but I did bring. Oh, uh, Warded, he has some people. I did bring some people myself, and I'm going to spend some time. Um, scouring the woods here to make sure the enemy doesn't have any. There you go. We finally get the flag. Ward Eddie will remove his guy. There's an alouette reconning for the Leopard 2A4 here. But there you go. I got my... Oh, I'm actually shooting and killing the recons over here. Yes, unfortunately, some people die here. But I'm concentrating a little bit here, but not that much. I am bringing some infantry just to make sure, you know. I, I, I feel, well, right now this is the AI, um, I do believe. But I feel like people overinvest in artillery. And it is often not that useful, I feel. Well, some, some can be really devastating, you know. It, it also depends on the games, but so. All right. Faggot out of ammo, unfortunately. 100 mil, also out of anti-tank missiles. That doesn't stop him from shooting its tank gun, but it, it, it kind of do get him killed pretty easily, though. T-55 will start shooting at someone. There you go. The Leopard bouncing that shot. Now being sandwiched in two. Ki almost killing that AMX. AMX. There you go, AT going for this guy. Some reason did not shoot, but he dies anyway from 
that T80 and the AMX will die from the T55. So T55 doing a very good job overall. My 80 planes are still scouring um, around here. I'm sending them against the Apache with the machine gun because, hell, uh, we don't have much else, um, apparently. <laughs> but there you go. Igla did shoot him down. I got some Sikerungs moving. Aero rifle still holding the town. Plus one for the enemy as our entire team over here start pushing forward and forward. And the enemy does, doesn't look like they have much to do. There are some mortar type or i don't is this tree wow 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 these are really cool world war ii anti-tank slash artillery guns and i love to see their rounds in action I, I is that the uh no that's these guys i want to see the zistry shoot more i should probably start playing that division a bit more t-34s and zistries are pretty cool the 80 still doing some victims around here. Alouette 3. Recon is coming in. I do have some anti-aircraft capacity. Over here, we're going to bring more people. Cobra taking out, taking out the T-34. Um, I started reconcentrating over here did not want to lose this airplanes coming in from an f-16 taking out my anti-air and this is what i hate it's like you've got anti-air and airplanes will destroy them nonetheless there you go we have some fine artillery mortars here shooting just love to see these guys in action And there you go, the war is going down. These guys have just dropped infantry. Airplanes being shot, but looks like they will. Oh, wow, they're going back into the enemy. And they're... They're dying. Helicopters shooting at people. There's a whole lot of smoke going down now. This is what the mortars are good for. Tanks exploding. Some of them defending pretty well. These are actually... What is that? What is that and why can't I zoom on it? I'm sorry about this janky camera work. There you go. Wow, this is impressive. 2A45 M Sprut B does 23 damage. Wow. Like, this is one massive gun. And they are going around the battlefield like, like nobody's business. Wow, there's a lot of artillery shells falling around. Alright, it seems like the battle has calmed down a little bit. There's a lot of these guys. Well, there's at least two artillery trying to target them, I guess. Um, their position have changed. Over here, we have lost the flag. I'm bringing more tanks coming in. We've regained this position. Um, it looks like the AI... I don't know. Don't know what that AI is doing. It's just kind of busy dying. SU-22, the Seat will shoot down. <laughs> Doesn't look like it. Uh, why is it not getting it? I guess this is not a radar um, control. The flak will start shooting. Oh no. Their battle rifle. Add it. 
I mean, I guess why not? This is a Humvee after all, but still. Um, that's a good lesson why you would want to remove the... Oh no, this guy. Anyway, this is the AI, so whatever, right? We've captured this back. We're trying really hard here to kill those Abrams, but god damn, they are pretty strong. Same with the Leopard. We don't have that much, you know. I got a 100 mil anti-tank. There you go. We'll start shooting some rockets at it. Some missiles, sorry. Straight up kill him, but I also got the AT planes here. The bravest of them all. Like, these guys are really, really good. At least in this game, they are. The battle rages on. Oh. Where, where, where are we? We're over here. It doesn't look like much, but there's a lot of people dying here. A little bit worse over there. For sure. Arrow Q4 surrenders. Sheridan now are pushing the front line from Trifty Raccoon. This is again the AI here. Nice little tank though. Uh, good support tank. I think these guys are from the Vietnam War. I'm not too sure about that. But there you go. Now the the enemies are really bold. They're sending their scouts ahead. Mech rifles are behind our lines. Mi-24 will start killing these recons. And overall, we've regained uh, the entire area here. We're still pushing for these, but look at that. We started to win. We starting to win. And this is what I'm saying. Why did uh, two straight homies not just, instead of going for these two flags alone, he saw he was alone. Why didn't he just try to instead defend Kilo? And worse and worse, try to help us out, but at least just defend and see where the game is going. But as it turned out, we were better off with this player leaving and having the AI play for him. So maybe it isn't that bad. Because, you know, now that he's not playing anymore, we're starting to win. But, you know, thanks for uh, these guys doing a lot of the work here. Capturing a whole lot of flags. Oh, there's the Zistries. Oh, come on. Not shooting anymore? Alright. Here comes your shells. Good stuff, good stuff. Napalm bombs coming in. These planes are pretty cool. Look at that. Wow. And there you go. Oh, going down already. The napalm drops. And kills the kids. T-55. A lot of them going around the battle. God damn, this game is beautiful. They're going to retreat. There's some some reason, some strange reason there's an helicopter here. But there you go. The T-55s has done their mark in the world. They're going to take advantage of this hill and retreat. They're going back again. Let's let's take a look at that. Oh, this guy died. Yeah, that's why he's there. That's a black elk. 
Oh boy. They will have to retreat. <laughs> but the uh, the helicopters. Oh, these are the Blackhawks. All right, they're they're running away. Here's the Zistri shooting again. What is this tank? A chieftain? Maybe I don't know. I don't know these tanks. But fighting in the city, in the village at least, being targeted by Zistris cannot have cannot be having a good time right now here comes the Zistries again planes are going down over in the sky oh man looks like he will survive and he does over here we are still struggling to keep hold of this um, I, I've, I've uh, stopped putting efforts around here leaving the AI and uh, people doing the job but you know I do have these AT doing some okay job they're really weak actually when I when I see the that the little damage they did I guess now now it is destroyed but that that first pass did not do a lot of damage there All right, so we're going to be leaving this area. The Sayad AA airplanes as well. Napalm coming down on these guys. Sayad going deep in enemy lines. And there you go, finally dies. Oh, that was close to my guy. That was really close. Jesus Christ. All right, so <laughs> now I decided to attack with the airplane I'm kind of doing my my everything here I'm concentrating fire on this leopard Sikirung's unloading T-55 starting to shoot at that command tank. Airplanes are coming in as well. Sayad are going to do a wonderful job here at suppressing the enemy. And there you go. Leopard about to die. And done deal. Command over here is dead. Now we just need to bring our own command. There you go. There's another command here. Engineer leader. I don't know what this guy doing, but he's dead. Over here, Trifty Raccoon. This is the AI again. They're just pushing forward. This is what the AI does. Over here, we've pretty much um, win everything. I'm going to start bringing some anti-tank measures into these woods. I see there's a lot of tanks there. My airplanes are just roaming around looking for the next target. Wombat. Not doing a lot of damage, honestly. Completely missing target. 
and dies. Over here, we're still just defending. We haven't captured that, but we're winning plus four now. And there you go. Finally, we've got the command from War Daddy with the T80 BV. Wonderful piece of tanks. So I decided to just go forward even more. Over here, the enemy has a lot of gazelle, but gazelles aren't the greatest, honestly. And it doesn't look like they're doing much in this game either currently. And there you go, that was the end of this guy. Napalm Flames, looks like he'll survive the day. Uh, yeah, now we're able to push a little bit further. We're plus five, close to victory. The AI is pretty much only AI on this side, um, doing a little bit of pushes. And you know, th th that's what I was saying. All we really needed from two straight homies is to defend. Defend the points. It's okay to let your teammate do the work. Worse, you know, like if you're finding yourself in such a situation, it's okay to just defend. You don't have to quit the game. This is a team game after all, and there's nine other players with you. So it's not always just about you winning the game. You know, support role have a lot of importance here. And he could have helped us helped us out better than than the AI could most likely. Um, so really, shame on him is what I want to say. And now I'm just pushing everywhere. I'm bringing some uh, infantry with these cools BMP. We're going to protect the flank basically of these tanks. I got my AT doing some work. Oh, almost, but survived. And there you go, lives to fight another day. Still got the four AT planes, and I mean, they were really, really used a lot in this game. A lot of these planes are dying now. I'm not sure if these runs are really worth it. This guy's pretty good. This guy is good. Good or lucky, but either way. Doesn't even kill the Stralka and will die now going that deep into enemy territory. Now my good buddy and I, Teaspoon of LSD, will start pushing with infantry tanks. We're gonna try to go above this little ridge here. We might find ourselves in a little bit of trouble. I do have good positions around here with the Panzer Jager, BMPs. I think I'm waiting for a recon maybe to come in. I'm gonna use those MI24 AT 
just for suppressing the uh, Berlin Light Infantry. But there you go. Now I will die. I had a good run with him. Uh, unfortunately, he dies over here. Got my ammo helicopters providing some good stuff to the tanks. Wow, Seya doing a very good job here. Leopard being shot by the back. By the side by our BMPs. I haven't called artillery yet. Much too busy trying to bring troops to the battle. We're dying here. There's uh, there's a lot of people shooting at us. I bring some of the smoke. Will obviously try to remove myself, but I will die from these uh, these little dudes calling in the AT airplanes. There you go, target acquired. Target destroyed. Oh, there you go, going for Sagan. And I'm breaking my number one rule here. I sometimes do. Still trying to get these little goo dudes. It looks like I'm failing. <laughs> They're still alive being targeted by oh my god these AT airplanes of mine they really do so I I I thought they were cool but looking at the replays I don't feel like they're doing a lot of damage here Anyway so here I brought the faggot with some spring tasher Recon infantry, these guys are going to do some good work in the forest for us. Whoa, we are being targeted though, so we're gonna bank left. And there you go, we can finally start shooting at some ATs. And there you go, uh, shooting at the Vombat. We're gonna keep moving forward. And I'm just calling a whole bunch of, uh, well, as much troops as I can to move. Got the Panzer Jager over here. BMP, Faggot, we'll start shooting at the Abrams. Surviving a lot of shots actually I'm pretty surprised about that like look at that. They're not doing a whole lot of damage these guys I'm even out of anti-tank missiles now These guys are now dying getting shot at by the side as well from the m150 this little dudes Uh, I'm just kind of rushing forward now. The Afklara doing some good shot with the Panzerfaust 44. But it looks like I'm going to survive the day. One last cinematic from my airplanes. Woohoo! And there we go. That is how we won the game. I hope you've enjoyed this game like I did. The moral of the story here is do not leave just because you're not winning stay and help your teammates 
this is what you're there for, basically. Um, all right, so I've got the most point in conquest. I am relatively new to Warno and and Ten Vitans, but I find myself often into um, at least the top five, which I feel like is good. Uh, two straight homies did not help the team whatsoever, really. Uh, but whatever. Anyway. 211 to 1 in kill ratio. So I've got 6,000 kills to 3,000 losses. I feel like this is pretty good. Um, my AT's airplane did okay. I've got the uh, anti... Uh, kill the Nighthawk. That's awesome because I love the Nighthawks. I feel like they're really, really good. Um, again, AT airplanes. I guess they did okay, but they could have done better. I feel pack 100 mil. Wow, two leopards and some recon. That's very good. And then, uh, to a lesser extent, we've got these guys that did some work as well. Um, the helicopter was fine. Oh, that T-55. Wow, wow, wow. Did some very good stuff with these guys. I did much better than I thought uh, I did, actually. And then I, I lost some of these, uh, whatever, right? All right, uh, guys. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this content. If you did, like and subscribe. And I will see you for another game, either of Steel Division 2 or Warno tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Goodbye.